Hello everyone, Miff here and welcome back to another video of Rise of Civilization. Well now they changed the name, so now it's Rise of the Kingdoms, right? Um, so this early morning, <clears throat> we took all the gates, level 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we have just complete our fortress in zone 2. So this video, I'm not going to do any guides or tips. I'm just going to give you an update of our current kingdom situations. Um, so where do we start? Okay, firstly, let's look at power. We are at 2A5. Uh, but we have 8 guys missing. So we will be like 300 something million uh, when they come back from helping others. Also got a few guys lining up to join the alliance. Second and third alliance approaching 200 mil power and then there's a gap with this Chinese alliance and our sister alliance. Okay, so let's look at individual. So Zelda and Tsunami, they rank 1 and rank 2. Rhys, he's in XTC acting as leader but he's actually with us as well. I'm rank 4. Haven't been really boosting, and this guy is rank 5. And just give you guys see what's the rest of power. So like from rank 13, there's a drop of power of 1 million. Okay. And individual kills. I'm on top, 25 mil. And kill events coming up, and I'll try to get to, I think maybe 35 mil. <clears throat> during a kill event and there's also going to be some war coming up as well we'll talk about that now so as you can see we're going to get one shrine and two shrine this is the rally and gathering speed which is decent and the other one is really nice which is a training speed training speed and troop attack very important one our sister alliance here will get the shrine of troop defense and what's the other thing health i think they're going to lock down this gate here and i'm going to get an ally teleport next to us and lock down these two gates to seal off our area so in that way we have control of every single pass leading to our area let's look at other areas so on the left side zone two we have sah they are our allies now uh, well, we not haven't been dealing with them for much because they are very far from us. Um, and 082, the Chinese alliance, our ally, and they've been helping out with some wars previously. Um, so they're supposed to take one shrine each, and I think they mostly can fight themselves, but if they need help, we're going to help them. So that's there. And this side zone too, we have ally in ML, they took the gates but they're waiting to see what what the other people are going to build first. And we have XTC and RBNG as our ally, okay. Now you look at the fortress positioning of people, um, like you look at CS, right? Put their fortress next to zone 3 gate. What does that mean? It means they're kind of not giving themselves a choice of plan B. Because, say, if someone else wants zone 3 gate, they will have to destroy their fortress, right? Say, Voodoo, for example, they put their fortress here. This gives them a little bit of flexibility. In my opinion, if I was them, I'd probably put my fortress here. Like, here so um it gives me flexibility of taking this shrine taking this gate and taking the second gate right um but if they put their fortress here it's kind of like it's not too aggressive like cs but they a little bit aggressive as well um so they probably need to watch out for that and again like gores and sot like you put your fortress next to the level 3 gate, even if people doesn't want to start war with you, but you taking the objective, right? Say SOT, they want probably one shrine, two shrine. So you want two shrine and you put your fortress next to a level 3 gate. 
that's very ag aggressive positioning. So it's like all in or nothing. So if you lose, you lose every single flag in this zone. If 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 I was them, right, I will probably put the fortress here, or I put between the gate and this shrine. I'll probably put it like here, right. So if I can't get a gate, I can hold back on the shrine. Um, I mean, now if there's a problem, then the entire area you will lose, right? And my warlord tsunami, he went down there. Well, I told him to go down there and kill some gatherers, but I mean, he does his thing his own way. He went down there. Mm, you can't see the fire now, but he actually like zeroed. All these people, including the leader, um, I think he died like 260k troops. Basically, he went down and zeroed everyone himself that didn't have a bubble. Mm, I mean, it's wartime, so I guess that's fine. Um, oh yeah, he he's pretty cool though. Like he he the his Hannibal is maxed at VIP 14. In like the first week of the server, he hasn't logged in for three weeks. Basically, when this war, I I get him and he buys some gold packs and level up a little bit. His main account is in Kingdom One One Nine One, which is a sixty-six day kingdom, and they still haven't captured Temple. They have some problem there with the alliances around. You see, like. The alliance is built like this. It's either a complete farm view or it's gonna be massive war. Mm, right now they farm view. So I can't find his fortress, but you can see that's him there. At 66 mil power. 66 mil power in 66 mil kingdom. Well, he's actually at 68, but he um, is healing some troops back right now. Okay, let's go back to our kingdom. So that's the zone, zone 2 situation. We should be fine in our own zone, but we're probably gonna help out a little bit on the right side and the left side. And look at my alliance. There's a lot of nice people follow me from my old kingdom, kingdom 70. So... I'll open up all the members. Cha Cha, she's leader of one of the alliance in KD70, and she followed me with her drag boat family. You will be able to see we have quite a lot of drag boats here. Uh, that's a drag boat in Chinese. Drag boat, drag boat. Um, yeah, like. All, all their um, colleagues follow with me, which is really sweet and cool. Um, so who else? This, he was vice leader of the French alliance in my old kingdom. Nap, Nap went to kingdom one two two zero. Um, and she's on holiday, so she has hasn't been on. She was rank one power in one two two zero, and she's from my old kingdom as well. Um. Who else from my, from my old kingdom? Amac, Amac and Joseph, the brothers, um, and they were from my old alliance actually. Follow me here. Shout out to them. Mm, I hope I don't miss anyone from my old kingdom. That would be, be all good. Um, mm -mm, let's see who else. Who else is from my old kingdom? So more drag boats here. Okay, Supreme Goddess, she's from my old kingdom, my old alliance as well. But she only joined us like a few days ago, or a week ago, so her power is really low. And Trim Dark, he's from the French alliance as well, and he is getting married. So congratulations to him. And he's not on much in these few days. Um, who else? Oh yeah, and Pops, he's really cool. He's like acting leader as of my sister alliance in um, Old Kingdom. 
and you can see he's really cool. He's holding a fish. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, and everyone else, I met like a lot of nice guys here. Like all my R Force, they're doing a really good job. Uh, especially Lost Streams, Pepe, he is managing our sister alliance, doing a very good job. Levy's been helping a lot. Um, Lace, Lace P, Lace Pie, he's been helping a lot and very active in chat. Um, all the rank three is doing a really good job. Salda, he woke up at like 4 a.m. this morning to help us with the gate rallies. So big thank to him. And yeah, Beard, he's a really cool guy. Larissa, she's like Russian and she tries so hard to uh, type in English with us. Super good effort and she's really sweet. And I can't really introduce everyone, but everyone in my alliance, I think I'm f all familiar with. Um, so we're pretty much one big family and we'll have more people joining us in the next few days. So that's pretty much it for my kingdom. Uh, what's our job now is just slowly. You see I'm building flags on both sides. We'll reach this left shrine and then we'll work our way towards the right shrine. Uh, I'll try to get everyone to spread alongside this river because you see in our zone one everyone was like clustering together and they were fighting over resources so hopefully it doesn't happen again. And another thing is um, Ark of Oasis is coming in like registering two days, so coming like three, four days, four or five days. So I might record it. It's one hour, so it's gonna be a long video. And it's actually my first time doing Ark, so I'm kind of excited. And that's pretty much it for today's video. Okay, so uh, no tips or anything, just. Um, about me, about my journey, about our alliance and our kingdom. And um, yes, if you like the content, please give me a video like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.